Hi everyone, in this episode of Take Charge Now, I'm focusing in on younger Canadians because younger Canadians need to feel better about their financial situation. But I get it, that may be a lot easier said than done. Here's why. The soaring cost of living has dealt a heavy blow to household budgets and the urgency to create jobs that actually meet the expectations of many particularly Gen Z, is paramount. Youth unemployment over the past few months has been skyrocketing at a rate four times higher than other age groups, in my opinion, demanding our immediate and undivided attention. You know, gone are the days of ridiculing millennials for being avocado toast lovers. Here's what they really yearn for a mortgage payment, enough money to cover their rent, and perhaps even a small reserve set aside for unexpected expenses. What we are witnessing is an affordability crisis where the focus is on earning just enough to survive. You know, added to the frustration is mounting guilt as many are assuming blame and responsibility for their lack of savings, which quite frankly, has been beyond their control. The financial difficulties among younger Canadians were recently highlighted in the Nanos Pocketbook Index poll. Now, this is a measure of how people perceive their finances and job security. Well, the index fell to 50 last week, that matched an April 2020 low. And for those between the ages of 18 and 29, the index fell to 40, the lowest level in its 16 year history. Now look, thinking about the economy, we know what's going on won't last forever. So for now, many have decided to cut back, pick up a second job, explore company benefits, if they actually have a job and they are getting benefits and they're getting really creative in ways of creating additional income streams. But there are broader reaching consequences here. Lack of affordability, especially in the housing market, has led many younger Canadians to abandon the current government, despite recent targeted budget initiatives. Here's the thing. If you don't have a job, the dream of buying your own home, starting a family, and ultimately contributing to the economy remains distant, if not impossible. Yet, the potential of younger Canadians to drive economic growth and prosperity is undeniable. So I truly believe this isn't the time to blame generational comparisons or even feelings of guilt, but it is a time for investment. And one of the best things we can do to support future generations is to create a thriving economy with higher productivity. And that in turn would lift the standard of living for all.